This is a piece of home. I love this animal so much that I made it go extinct. This is the limb of Ultrasaurus. The only part of this made from reality is the very top bone, the scapula coracoid. That is a cast of the BYU brachiosaurid that we're naming a new genus coming up here real soon. And what Jim did, Jim Jensen, was he took the scapula coracoid, and he knew how long it was, and decided, well, in some animals, it's this long and the femur is this long, so he just made one. Made a femur out of the, I mean a humerus, I'm sorry, out of the thin air, just made a humerus. Then he made a radius and an ulna based on some mathematical assumptions. And then, because it's a brachiosaurid, he decided he'd make some metacarpals. And he actually made them too small compared to the other percentage-wise. And he put a foot together uh, with one too many claws. And he made this incredible item. He had a crane hold it up. He was quite the showman. And this was Ultrasaurus. And what the world grew up as knowing the heaviest, tallest, longest, biggest, most massive creature to ever walk the earth. And then grad student me shows up and realizes that's not true at all, and I killed it. I made it go extinct. And so what was amazing to me is this. If we look at this sign here, this sign is in Japanese, and my name is in that sign in there, and it shows that I made this go extinct. And so it was so cool. For the first time in my life, I got to see my name in an exhibit. I'm so proud. And I was like, I'm all giddy. He pointed it out to me. So this is the sign pointing out that this is no longer a real thing, but it's still super cool and impressive. And part two, is it mathematically possible statistically that some giant brachiosaur could have gotten this large? I suppose you've got seven foot, 11 inch human beings. So statistically, you could have some ultra giant, but we don't have any reason to think the brachiosaurids got this large. This is the fantasies of one man who put together an amazing experience, but not driven by a lot of science. Super cool.